Hello, everybody. This is Kendra Potato. Welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. This is part 11. What? All right. All right. Man. Man, that, that battle was so laggy. I cannot believe how laggy that was. Much more than it usually is. In fact, this whole episode is lagging like crazy, so this editing is going to be fun. Well, here we are. We're moving this, which I forgot to do in the last video. <clears throat> in order to give us access to the next gen. Ginny. The next Ginny. Did you see something strange over there? I fought it, but it fled. When I returned, I saw it again. I wonder if it likes this place. Yes. So, what, uh... Ginny that you find- Jin, I'm sorry. Ugh, it's gonna screw me up so bad. Jin that you find in caves just standing around like that will, uh... uh as I was saying, Jin that you find- Jin that you find in caves will sometimes flee the battle when you're fighting them, but if you leave the room and then come back, they'll always be there. So, it's not a big deal. Alright, here we go. Ugh, I don't even know what I was just saying. Anyway... Lagging sucks. Can I get that from? Can I get that from there? Oh yeah, awesome sauce. <clears throat> Wait, I don't need to go that way. Let's see. Didn't need to go this way. I need to go this way. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm lagging quite so bad today. It's it's <sighs> driving me crazy. Anyway, now I can jump over here and fight this guy. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Alright, how should we go about this? Uh, we'll do a little bit of now, a little bit of that. Ideally, you want to use uh, water gin and water synergy against fire, obviously. But I, I lack that right now, so we gotta do our best. So I don't have anything that's gonna be super effective against him. Uh, uh, and actually, I'm gonna have Garrett summon Venus, just for fun. Why not? This guy's gonna be a bit of a pain to take out, but subsequent attacks will not be. Like, the next time I have to face a Jenny. Oh, jeez. What is going on here? This is ridiculous. I don't even... I, I don't have an explanation for this. Ugh. Terrible. This takes so much editing. I went into my task manager, even, to check... Yes, finally got it. I mean, I went into my task manager to see what was slowing my computer down. It doesn't look like anything's happening. So, I, I, I'm at a loss. And so is commentary sucks. Arsgeny Forge joined Ivan. Oh, you got it? Wow, that's pretty impressive. Keep your eyes peeled for others like it. Thanks, guy. So now, we'll give it to Garrett. Set that to Garrett. All his stats go up. Yeah! And heals like crazy. Heals. Alright, we're all good now. Oh, I'm so out of synergy. Not that it matters, this cave's almost over. Oh, they're so slow. Painful lag. Oh, you guys seriously have no idea. This is at least twice as long as it usually takes with this lag. I don't even, I might even stop recording this right now and try again another time. It's ridiculous. Ugh. I, I don't even know what to say to that. Anyway, yes, out of the cave, and here is Billabin. It's very sad. It's a tree. It almost looks like a man. Nope. Same person, yes, I know. I'm not facing him. Shoot. If you press select, you can bring it up too. I'll do that later after I figure out select. So, right now, what I'm gonna do is go to the inn. Do, 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 do. That's not the noise that makes. And then I'm going to run back real quick to Vault, because I forgot to visit the Elder, the Mayor, or whatever the hell his name was. And then we'll address the town of Billabin, which is playing the sad music in the background. Yes, this is the recurring this town is in peril music for whatever reason. So going backwards through the cave is not nearly as bad as going through the cave the first time. I don't have to go through all that extra stuff, uh, because I moved that stump. And I'll show you, hang on. The stump that was right here. Now you can just climb these stairs. If you'd have gone... Oh, can't go that way. If you'd have come up north this way on your first trip through, you would have got stuck right now. But for now, we can keep going south. See, I think I spent a total of 20 seconds in that cave disregarding the battle. 
la 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 walking down this way. Much quicker. I guess, uh, since nothing else is happening right now, I'll tell you about when I first got this game. I read about it, uh, in Nintendo Power, which I subscribed to for a really long time. Oh, it's not this way. Uh, and it got five st in, in Nintendo Power's review, it got five stars in every category. I was so excited. It looked so good. And it was! Anyway, it was right when the Game Boy Advance came out. And I didn't own one yet. So what I did was, <laughs> I made this silly bargain with my parents, as if you could call it that. And I told them, here, I'll buy this game if you buy me the system. So I had to, I bought the game, and then I had to wait till Christmas came to actually get the system. You were such a great help, Isaac. Allow us to show us your gratitude, gratitude. Oh, oh, water life? Well, I guess that'll... For a cave, yes, thank you. I already knew that. That's why I didn't come back to you. Anyway, give me a water life. That's a revival item. In case you've already paints. But, uh, anyway. I... I bought the game myself. Had to wait till Christmas to get the actual system so I could play it. You would not believe how many times I read through the game's instruction manual. I poured over that thing. I was so excited for, to play this freaking game. And it did not disappoint. You know, sometimes when you're really anticipating something and for a long, long time and you hype it up and then it's not nearly as good as you hoped. This game was pretty much as good as I hoped. And then when I finally won it, I remember he just gasping and, and dancing around and going, Yes, I beat Golden Sun! I beat Golden! Yay! I beat Golden Sun, so weird! Anyway, well, not now, like I was saying before. You know that. You didn't just have to sit through that cutscene. I'm the battle scene. Blah, words. And now I don't remember what I was gonna say before I got into that fight. Okay. Hmm, what was that? Crap. That drives me crazy when I can't do that. Erg. Anyway, now we're back and we can go back to Philippine. Oh, I figured out where the select is. So. Help me, somebody! Oh crap, that tree just talked to me. So weird. Let's see, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to equipment up, if we can. Because I didn't do a great job before. And then we're gonna go to armor first, because I did attack first last time. Ooh, we got two pages. Oh, what caps, man? Ugh. Eh, they're expensive though. So for now. This is one of those games where you, you tend to really lack coins, money, to buy everything that you really need to, to buy at the beginning of the game, and then by the end of the game, you have more money than you know what to do with, than you more money than you can do anything with, really. What? Oh, crap. Uh, here, I have enough money for this. Oh, but you already have one! Come on! Ugh, this sucks. You're wearing that. Crap. Oh, you know what I should have done? Hang on. I did this again. The shaman rod. Wait, no. Crap. Never mind again. Here, well, let's see. Equip that to you, and then does, can anybody else equip the bandit sword? No. Never mind. Re equip. Crap. Well, I can do this. Ask me about all of sell. Sell the one stick. Uh, nobody else has anything I can sell. But I can. Not sign or G. With the catch beads. And now I know catch. Not that it's going to do me much good yet. Well, let's see. I'm about out of time here, so I'm going to say goodbye for now. This, this episode kind of sucked, and I apologize. But I will see you in part 12. Thanks for watching, guys.